Hi guys. Now, <clears throat> for the third state of matter, which uh, is gas, I've already explained to you on your solid, your liquid, and the last is over here, gas. Now, to understand gas, the first thing I want to ask you, what is the pressure that is acting on us right now? Now, whether you guys realize it or not, uh, let me just take uh, a few uh, very obvious examples that you normally see in your daily life, guys. Uh. Now, for an example, <clears throat> if you take a cup of water and you put a straw inside, okay? Cup of water, straw. Now, you will notice that the water inside the straw will be slightly higher. Now the question is, why is the water inside the straw slightly higher? Now the water inside the straw is slightly higher is because there is an external pressure which is pushing the water from the top, pushing the water inside to the straw. Now that pressure is what we call over here as your atmospheric pressure. Okay, now guys, your atmospheric pressure uh, generally over here how we used to put a value for it. Uh, we used to put a value for an example 1 atm which stands for one atmospheric okay but still by me writing one atm <clears throat> it is difficult for people to understand what the value for one atm represents now some scientists came along the way and has helped us to prove this one atm has a value and how do we understand that value is the next thing what I'm going to show you right now. To understand what 1 ATM is, an experiment was conducted. Now that experiment is what we call using a mercury barometer. Okay, now a mercury barometer works in this concept. Now for an example, okay, give you a basin all right and we are going to fill up that basin with mercury okay now the moment you filled up the basin with mercury we are going to put a capillary tube okay at various angles okay now what is observed is that the mercury rises up in the tube and the height of mercury, no matter how you have slanted, like this is straight, this is a little bit slanting, isn't it guys? No matter how you have kept it, the mercury over here from the surface of mercury at the basin all the way to its height over here it gives us a value of 76 centimeter okay now from this what conclusion came was 1 atm equals to 76 centimeters mercury hg my dear students is the symbol for mercury okay now this is the first step what we have identified is, we have identified and we understand there is pressure around us. As I'm giving you this example, guys, uh, you take the cup, you put the straw inside, you see the water is a little bit higher. It's because there is atmospheric pressure. And that atmospheric pressure, we have kept it as 1 atm. Now, to prove this 1 atm, we want to put a value to this 1 atm. Using a mercury barometer, we have discovered, okay, the mercury rises up 76 centimeters in the uh, capillary tube okay and what we have done is we kept an equation 1 atm is 76 centimeters mercury 
Now, in my next video, I'm going to show you how are we going to convert this 76 centimeters mercury into Pascal? Because Pascal is the generally accepted unit. All right, guys, now view my next video. Eh?